Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to edit an order in WooCommerce. Um, so first we're going to hover over WooCommerce and we're going to go to orders. And uh, this is where all of your orders will um, show up. Um, I made a manual order um, because uh, I do not have an active store, but if you have an active store, then you'll have you know, like a list of orders in here and the statuses will be different. Of course, the dates will be different. Um, unless of course you have a bunch of orders on the same day, but, um, this is how we're going to edit the orders. So pretty much we're going to click on the order number and it's going to give us all of our order details. So, um, just to kind of briefly overview, um, everything. Um, so pretty much it gives you a date that it was created and the time, um, the status will usually come in as processing. Um, in this case, I've changed it to completed um, because it's just a test order. But um, these are the different statuses that you can use, um, such as pending payment, processing, on hold, completed, canceled, refunded, and failed. Um, if you refund something from your payment gateway, such as like PayPal or authorized.net, um, it will change the status for you on the order. Um, because it's all linked in. Um, but if it, but if not, just know that you can come in here and change the status for administrative purposes. All right. So we're just going to keep the status as completed. Um, and I'm just keeping the customer as a guest, um, cause this was a manual order. So, um, uh, as you can see, it gives me my billing and shipping information, um, and what, um, you know, the customer ordered, and the total, um, I can, you know, uh, I can modify this order, you know, by of course, like changing status. Um, but, uh, being that this is an order that came in, I can't add anything to this particular order. Um, like usually like you'd have some options down here. If this was like a manual order you were like initially creating, but this is one that's completed. So, you know, that's why you can't edit it anymore. So, um, but, uh, that's pretty much all for like this section, um, down here you can, you know, ignore unless you are going to be setting up downloadable products and you want to grant access, um, for the downloadable product that, you know, the customer has purchased. Um, but some other things that you can do is from this order action section, you can, um, email invoice and order details to a customer. You can uh, resend the new order notification. Um, and of course, if this was a downloadable product, you could regenerate the download permissions. And, um, and then of course you can add some order notes. Um, some of these are private. Um, the ones that you see right here are private. Um, but you have this option of adding a, a private note or you can send a note to the customer. So this is handy if you have a tracking number of some sort that you want to send off to your customer. So you can say, dear customer, here's your tracking number. Thanks. And then when you hit add, it will send it right to the uh, customer's email. And of course, if you have made any changes in here, you can just go ahead and hit update and you're all set. So um, be sure to check out our other um, WooCommerce and uh, WordPress videos here in the Support Center. And if you have any questions or need additional help, please reach out to our support team. They are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and they can be reached by live chat, um, by phone, or by email. Thank you so much.